Hey, Breland, what's up, man? You good? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. My name is Jojo, by the way. We've never met. Real, a real yes. pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet hey, you. Hey, uh, real quick. Ni nice meeting you, man. Hey, real quick. Where? What part of the world are you? Uh, are you in right now? I am in New Jersey. I'm in my childhood home where my parents still live, and uh, I came oh, up wow. here for the for the quarantine, uh, and and I'm kind of kicking it for a few weeks, letting everything pass over. How how are you? Well, that I guess that's the the main topic for everybody right now. I mean, this yeah. is it's just so crazy, really. Not, I you know I feel like, and I, I keep saying this. You'll hear me say this on the radio and everywhere else, I mean, all these lives and everything. But I feel like we're living, and we'll get through it. We're gonna be fine. You know, we got to be smart, wash hands, stay inside, all that stuff. But I feel like we're living in a sci-fi movie. Your take on that? It feels so. I've been watching a lot of Black Mirror recently, oh. and I, <laughs> this feels this feels like that. It does, doesn't it? Which uh, I, I haven't watched. I've only watched a handful of Black Mirror episodes, but the ones I've seen are like, God, it does. It has Dark. that vibe to it. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid me. I watched um, Quarantine the other night. Never oh, watched okay. Quarantine when going through this. It is yeah. just the worst. I mean, that's like watching yeah, like God. airplane movies on an airplane. Ah, yeah. Very, very good analogy there for Can't sure. Can't recommend it. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah what uh what your mom your mom and dad you said they still live in the house or is that yeah uh, this is their home yeah how are they are they excited for the success you uh you have going on right now yeah they're they're excited they're um yeah they've been they've been uh my biggest my biggest support through all of this um they're singers themselves um you know more on the kind of just on the hobby side of things but they're incredible vocalists and they sing in church and so uh, i think for them to watch me take the talent that they helped cultivate and 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 make a career out of it like they're they're proud oh nice nice and the song of course if you guys don't know um we'll take yeah we'll take some comments here in a second so if you see any feel free to jump on there but the uh, your tr the track my truck obviously yeah. is there and forgive me for not knowing this but is there like was it just an idea you had or do you actually have a truck that you can't like don't touch my truck is there a truck yeah. So it was it was more of a it was more of an idea at first um, when I wrote it. I was it was more of like I wanted to write a, a, a record in a different style. I had been doing a lot of like R and B and hip hop, and I wanted to add some country. Uh, as a as a songwriter and a fan of songwriting, I appreciate country music in Nashville for the way that they approach storytelling, and. So I was like, okay, it, it could be cool to do it, but I want to do it and put my twist on it with the Atlanta kind of flavor. So my truck was really born out of that, but now I also have a truck. <laughs> is, there, <laughs> is there a window? I mean, I don't want you to go outside, but is there a window you can kind of point? The, no, it's, in, the it's, actually, it's actually in LA. So I, I recently just got um, a little apartment in LA um, you know, so that I can go back and forth and, and, you know, the label and management are all out there. Um, so the truck is waiting on me on the other side of, of this quarantine. It's a Ford 2019 Ford F-150. Oh, nice. So I'm yeah. closer to your truck than you are right now. You basically. are way closer to my truck. <laughs> I may have to ask you to go check up on it and my apartment. Sure. In the meantime. I'll go over there. I'll put, you know, I'll do my, you know, the Corona gloves and all the hand yeah, yeah, sanitizer, yeah. all that stuff, you know. <laughs> Hey, um, uh, I'm I'm told that there is a, a bit of a rumor floating when it comes to my truck. Uh, okay. Another version, a remix, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure the terminology mm. or if it's true, but there's okay. pot a potential remix with a very well-known artist that will be joining you May on this other this new version. Is there any truth to that? Can you? You're not gonna. There, you're probably not gonna say anything, is, but there is. Look, look, look. There's truth to that, and. Um... I'm not going to make any announcements as to who that is yet, but it is confirmed. I do have the vocals. Um, the vocals are in, and it sounds great. I think people are really going to enjoy it. And if you're a country fan, you will definitely, without a doubt, enjoy this remix. Now, when you got the, when you got the, I don't know if you were personal friends with this person or not, but when you, when you got the word that the, this person was doing the, mm -hmm. the track with you. I mean, when yeah. you got that info, where you're like, "Holy crap, this is crazy!" Like you were really pumped when you got the confirmation. I was really pumped, and and it was something that we put together 
um, we put it together like as a as a team. So I went to Nashville to work with this artist. So I'll, I'll drop little hints. This is a, this is an artist that's in Nashville, um, and I went out there for a few days. Also, it's a, it's a dude, right? So I said okay. he Nashville dude. So, okay. Um, and and it's someone that is originally from Georgia, outside of outside of Atlanta. So all of those all of those facts you can you can do your research afterward but it was cool to connect with him because he has been keeping his ears to the street particularly with what's going on in the music scene in Atlanta and we had a lot of um a lot of creative synergy because of a lot of the music that he grew up listening to and a lot of the music that I grew up listening to so I, I think the the remix is gonna sound very natural and organic because it was well man congrats congrats on on everything it seems like this is uh launching really well for you and I, I can't wait to meet you in person when all this madness is you know behind over. us oh good lord man so uh it, you guys have any questions uh for breland yeah. uh you usually know, what these got lives here? are like 10 to 15 seconds behind so if you ask people for questions you gotta give them a second to, to yeah. type them in uh oh, here's one from i'm, I'm kind of scrolling up a bit Breland, I'm new to your music. Where are you from? So I, I assume Jersey yeah. or in the East Coast? Yeah, I'm, I'm originally from New Jersey, and then I've been in Atlanta for a while. So I actually have had ties to Atlanta before I even moved there. My grandparents and cousins and uncles and aunts all live in Atlanta pretty much. So I've been back and forth a lot over, like, Christmas breaks and summer vacations and stuff like that. But I've been living there myself as an adult for the past three years. Here's one from Lamar, and yeah, uh, post your questions for Breland real, uh, real quick, but here, uh, I scrolled up a bit. Uh, this is more of a statement, I guess, your reaction to this. Don't ever get tired of my truck. Be ready to perform this song a gazillion times. So, yeah, you're going to be like, you know, four albums deep, you know, how many singles, yeah. who knows, and still doing my truck at some point. Hey, man, <laughs> I, think, I think there's always space for like a – memory lane moment in every show where you can perform some of the older hits and and i'm i think what what keeps the record fresh for me and what will hopefully continue to keep it fresh is just watching how people respond to it and seeing seeing that feeling that energy even just without having done any performances just off of the internet like watching people do dances to it do covers of it you know driving in their trucks listening to it all of that stuff keeps the record fresh for me is there a particular dance that you love that people have done to uh, my truck? Like, is there one that's really you know, there? There are a few. There's this girl. There's this girl. Uh, I think her name is Dropout Maya on Instagram, and she came up with a crazy, crazy dance um, to the record that I'm still trying to learn. I can't do it yet, but she's very talented. Uh, here's another question, Breland. Have you always wanted to be an artist, or have you always seen yourself as a behind the scenes guy? So is it? Has, yeah. uh, is this so, the plan? I mean, I, I always thought that being an artist was possible. I just didn't know exactly when that transition would happen or if it was going to happen. I was content with writing songs, which is kind of how I started, was writing songs for people um, and just focusing on being behind the scenes. But I always felt like if it was time to make the artist transition, it would be very clear and obvious to me. And when it when it came to my truck, I posted a snippet of it on my Instagram and everyone was like, yo, bro, drop the song, drop the song. And I was like, <laughs> okay, that's pretty clear and obvious. I was like, um, and, and so I've been running running with it since. Um, and uh, actually, obviously, let me check for questions here. Oh, uh, Steph O'Curry says, proud of you, bro. Um, hey. how, how many songs have you made before my truck? How many songs have I made? I've made, probably before my truck, I had written about 3,000 songs. Good Lord. Yeah. Um, I've been writing, I've been writing, like, 2019, I was doing about three songs a day. Um, I've been doing at least a song a day since, like, 2014. So it's been, like, six years of me doing, yeah, there's, a lot, there's a lot of songs. I would say probably about 3,000. You know what they say, uh, every overnight success took about 10 years. So, and you literally know. 10 years. I put my truck out 2019, and I first started getting serious about music in, in 2009. So it really was 10 years. Man, I, I am, uh, I'm really excited to meet you, and you got such a crazy career ahead of you. And I can't wait, like I said earlier, just to, you know, it's, it seems so crazy to want to shake your hand, you know, but 
<laughs> one of these days we'll be back to normal. I hope no. you know some. I'm just waiting to be able to shake someone's hand. Like, I, have, <laughs> I haven't shaken hands in, like, two weeks. <laughs> you get recognized. Are, are, you, are you starting to get uh, a lot of, you know, walking down the street, hey, Breland, that kind of that kind of stuff? Well, I think this quarantine has hit at, like, a very interesting time where I'm no longer outside. So, like, my parents point. recognize me. I think that's a start. That's a good thing, you know. If they didn't, that'd be a little awkward. If that would you do be go a little out, awkward. <laughs> if you do go out, I've been saying this a lot last two or three days, but I talked to, I don't know if you know Bryce Vine or not. But, I uh, don't. I'll, Maybe I do. But, well, uh, Br uh, Bryce was telling me he, you know, he was, uh, he walked into a store during the quarantine, you know, like, you know, going to get food. And he, he came across these people that were fans of him, and they were clearly concerned about the social distancing because they had the mask on. But right. they saw him and said, hey, can I have a selfie? He's like, sure. So they rushed up to him, hugged all over him for the selfie, despite them. And they were like, he was like, whoa, what do I do here? I mean, he took the pick, you know. But I think the new rule is if somebody wants a selfie, if you happen to be at the grocery store and you don't want to say just no, right. whoever wants the selfie needs to stand in front six feet. And then right. the person, like you stand in the back and do some crazy pose or whatever. That's the. It would be the... something like if I wanted to take a picture of this, it would be like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I love it. I love it. Hey, Breland, uh, is there anything you can show us? Uh, like, uh, don't show anything personal here, but it, you want to give us a quick tour around the room here before we let you go? Or is there anything oh, you can see? This is a, I mean, this is, is, this it... is literally just the, uh, this is, I'm in, I'm in the bedroom, which is currently a little bit of a mess. So I won't show that, but um, I can so, show you, this is the, um, this is the uh, living room. Oh, nice. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. That's, that's, this is Breland's home, you know, My he's, parents. uh, down there somewhere <laughs> i see i see the laptop good deal hey Breland, yeah. it's a it's a real pleasure man please uh keep in touch Definitely. don't touch don't touch my truck don't touch and... anything right now. <laughs> <Don't> touch... <laughs> maybe this is the most appropriate song to, to come out don't very touch appropriate truck or anything yeah yep. I, oh man hey Breland, please keep in touch man and uh it's uh, thank you for your time and stay safe okay thank you so much man likewise you got it bye Breland. all right man